Sometimes retirement can come too soon, but sometimes retirement can't come soon enough. Let's see what the story is behind these Lego sets behind me. Let's go. Welcome to Bricks and Toys. That's Toys with a Z. My name is Brandon and I am excited for today's video. Today's video, I started working on this concept I think in the beginning, no, late February. And I thought that if I went on a, a three-state hunt to find retired Lego sets, that you guys might want to see that. Because, yeah, we can always talk about new releases, but what about old releases? And honestly, were they retired too soon or were they retired, you know, not soon enough, you know? So today we're going to talk about these retired Lego sets behind me and how I feel about them and a little bit of, of a backstory. And we're also going to make the decision, in my opinion, whether they're gone too soon or not soon enough. So with, with that, let's hit these tables, guys. Starting off, we have the Lego architecture. San Francisco, California. This is this is a 12 and older set. 21043 is the set number and it comes in 565 pieces. Now, really quick before we get too much into it, the architecture series, this is a series that my mom is doing this is not my collection this is my mom's collection i'm just the builder so when it comes to prices i don't know what she paid or what she's thinking all i know is this is what she likes this is what she wants so keep that in mind guys if i'm not talking about price san francisco that set ran from january 2019 and retired in december 2021. Now this set, I do support it and I do love it, but I'm biased because I am from NorCal. Being from Northern California, we spent many uh, quick one and a half hour trips to San Francisco. To this day, I still wish that I could visit Alcatraz. And I want to show you guys a little bit about myself with this. These are some pictures that fell out. But these are some postcards from about 20 years ago when I visited. Flip the page here. You guys are going to get a special treat here today. One more postcard. But that dude right there on the bottom is Bricks and Toys when he was 11 years old. That was 21 years ago, guys. I wanted to share that with you guys. I don't usually do anything too personal, but, you know, we're talking about San Francisco, and that's a place that I kind of have close to me. As Elvis once said... Viva Las Vegas. Now this set is set number 21047, coming in at four, or 501 pieces. This set was a replacement for a canceled set. That number was 21038. And this was due to the events of October 1. And, and that's in 2017 where a shooter knocked out the windows of the Mandalay Bay and opened fire on the Route 91 Harvest Festival and injured 800 people and killing 58. Because of that, LEGO, because of their non-violence policy, canceled 21038 and redesigned it. And when they redesigned it, they, re they redesigned it by canceling out the Mandalay Bay, that's where the shooter was, and replacing it with the Bellagio. Now, if you're looking at the box and you're looking at the set, you may notice the Luxor is not in the right spot on the set I built. And you would be correct. Now, the issue is, is, is when they did 21038, the Mandalay Bay, the Luxor, the Wynn, the Stratosphere, and downtown Fremont Street was in the correct order. But when they redesigned the set, they put the Bellagio in place of the Mandalay Bay. And as a local, that makes me have a headache because the Bellagio is down the strip from 
the Luxor to the right, not to the left. So to someone not from here, that probably looks just fine. But to me, it drove me up a wall to the point where I didn't even build this set correctly. And what I ended up doing is redesigning the whole set to put the Luxor, be I mean the Bellagio, between the Luxor and the Wynn. Not only do I think it looks better, but it is now more appropriate. But to me, I think it looks great and my mom loves it too. And she's glad that I made those changes. The great set of Dubai. Now I don't know Jack about Dubai. But what I do know is, is that this is set number 21052, and I think it comes in at, no, I already know, 740 pieces. Now, most of the pieces are in that, that third tower in the middle. That was a mother to build. Translucent blue tile, light, light gray tile, dark gray tile, and it just kept going. Probably an easy 200 pieces in that skyscraper alone. Now, because I don't know Jack about Dubai, I don't know what these buildings are named. I don't know the significance. Um, so I'm sorry on that, guys. But I do like how there is a lot of gold elements. I do know that Dubai is well known for its wealth or its sudden wealth. I do know it is the land of abandoned supercars. I know that because I'm a car guy. But other than that, I don't know too much. But this set ran from January 2020 to December 2021. And going back to the Las Vegas set for a second, I got so caught up on the tragedy of October 1, it means a lot to me as a local that I completely forgot to tell you that that set ran from September 2018 to December 2020. Sorry about that, guys. So we're going to look at the Seattle Space Needle. My mom's nuts, but really quick, it's set number 21003, coming in at only at 57 pieces. And this set ran from February 2009 to December 2015. And the reason I say that my mom is nuts is she bought this at collector's price, and it was, I think she said between 100 and 140 and it's originally only a $20 set. Um, I've never been to Seattle yet. I am going to go in May on a cruise. It's going to be my first real vacation and first cruise I've ever done. Looking forward to it. But because of that cruise, um, my mom, she frequently does cruise and she ports out of Seattle. And this is one of the things that she loves to see in the skyline as she visits Seattle for when she ports out on her cruise. I don't really have much to say about it other than for 57 pieces, it's got really good detail. Here we have the Lego Architecture Empire State Building. This is the set 21046. Now about this set, it did run from June 2019 to December 2021. This will be a coming build on the channel. It is over a thousand pieces and I do want to build it for you guys. When I do that, I will give a full review of the set. I do like the Empire State Building in general. It is iconic New York to me. So next up we have the king of rock and roll, Elvis. You know, thank you. Thank you very much. Now, I am keeping him, or things about him, a deep secret. He is going to be a build in April, but I am keeping all the details of that build to myself. We searched California, Nevada, and Arizona, and we ended up finding this outside of Phoenix, Arizona in a town called Surprise. And one last thing about this, it is set number 31204, coming in at 3,445 pieces, and it did run uh, from March 2022 to December 2022. So next up, we got Batman. You know how I love to go, I'm Batman. Gotham needs me. Anyway, besides my horrible Batman impression, this is set number 76182, coming in about 410 pieces. He is my first DC Lego in my collection. Besides him, I have one other superhero, 
and that is Groot in the Marvel franchise. He ran from April 2021 to December 2022. Now, he is more of the traditional style of Batman of the modern era, and that's what I like about him the most. I did pay retail at $60 for it, and overall, I'm really happy to have the set, and I look forward to putting him next to Groot. Star Wars. Starting off right here, we have the duel on Mandalore. Set number 75310. It is 147 pieces. Now this I found at my local bookstore. I paid the retail for it, $20. Can't go wrong with that. I would not have hunted for it or paid anything more than that. I just wanted this for the, for the minifigs. Now it's more of a play set. So there's things that the throne room does with the thing falling out like that. I guess that's so Ahsoka can throw him through the, you know, through the window, like in the show or however that went. Next up on the list, we have the Millennium Falcon Micro Fighter, set 75295. That is this one with this character, obviously Han Solo. That comes in at 101 pieces. It ran from January 1st, 2021 to December 2022. Now, I got bit by the microfighter bug when I got Boba Fett's uh, fighter that came out in January. When I was at Bricks and Minifigs getting the cars for the Speed Champions Retired video that I just did um, before this video, actually, I saw that for $13 and I'm like, you know, let's just pick it up. It'll be cute. Next up is the AT-80 -AT versus Tauntaun Microfighters. Set number 75298. That ran from March 2021 to December 2022. And that is this box right here. I can't really get it to stay up. It likes to fall. And that's these two microfighters right here. Uh oh, I just took out Luke. Now, this set I picked up from my local bookstore. I paid $20 for it. I never knew that they even existed and I found them extremely cool and I'm very lucky to have them. I like things with the the AT, at and you know, to, to have a Tauntaun thrown in there is sick as well. Last but not least of so the Microfighter lineup is the Razor Crest Microfighter 75321 coming in at 98 pieces and that is from the Mandalorian. I got that for retail at the bookstore for 10 bucks. So not bad at all. It's a perfect addition to my growing collection. And I cannot wait to pair this up with the N1 that comes out um, in August. That also has Grogu. This set ran from January 21 to December 2022. I really like the Mandalorian and I'm happy to to have these. I did think um, episode three of the new season was kind of sci-fi-esque, kind of like watching Andor, but you know, guys, it is what it is. Now let's get to some bigger Star Wars. So this is the Imperial Probe Droid 75306 at 683 pieces. Ran from April 2021 to December 2022. This is a set that I eyeballed last year. I did not expect it to go so fast. I also did not understand retired Legos at that time. And like overnight, it was gone. And I, but then I found it at my bookstore with the other ones. And I immediately picked it up for $60. No markup, paid retail. I did see a lot of complaints on the internet talking about the legs. To me, I can see the reasons why, but to me, like the R2-D2, it is a shelf piece. Overall, I think it's perfect and I love it. And it's gonna be a part of my Star Wars collection. Next up is the Imperial Shuttle 75302. Coming in at 660 pieces. This ran from March 2021 to January 2022. This is another set like the Imperial Probe Droid. I swore I saw it and then it was gone. Same with the Imperial Probe Droid. 
I found it right next to it at that bookstore for $70. I know that there is a UCS version of this, but I think I just like this version because I think it gets the point across without building over 2,000 pieces for an Imperial shuttle. Do, we, do I really need a UCS version of it? No. Now I do like how it does come with um, Darth and Luke. Luke has his handcuffs. It does come with an Imperial officer on the inside. And the wings are completely movable to where you can have them in the traditional flying stance. You know you can't store it like that. Next, Yoda 75255 coming in at 1,771 pieces. Now this is a build that I never knew existed until it was too late and gone. We did pay $135 for it on Amazon, and I think that's super fair as the original price was only $100. So that's only a small bump. This will be its own build in April. And one final thing, I don't know if you could tell me this or not, but does he creep the shit out of you? Because he really creeps me out. And he's a thing of nightmares for me and my children. Let me know, guys. I'm not sure if I already said it, but he did run from October 2019, which I think is really fitting due to the way he looks, to December 2022. We're almost through here, guys. Almost. We got one more. Now, this is the mythical Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse Disney set. I've seen this advertised. And the way that I see not, not advertised, but brought up, and the way that I seen it brought up was as if it's coming and not already here, but I kind of thought I did see it already, but having it in front of me clears all that up. Now, this is set number 43179. It ran from July 2020 to just last December in 2022. It is set number 43179, coming in at 1,739 pieces. Now this was a surprise to me to find, as well as to my mom. She saw it and she told the people at the bookstore, put that behind the counter, I'm buying it. So this is hers, this is her collection, like with the architecture. She did score it for 10% off of $180, which is S excellent. And this was found in Escondido, California. Like I said, these sets come from Arizona, California, and Nevada. This will be a build featured in April. So if you want to see it built, like I say, make sure you subscribe so you can get those notifications. I really like this and I'm super jealous that she got it and I didn't. That's that. Now let's talk about whether they're gone too soon. I really hope that you guys could hang on through all of the talking. It's a lot of information. I do these videos because I really hope that you guys like that information and you like to see these sets and it kind of reminds you of something that you may have missed out on. Like I said, I do take notes to prevent me talking too much, but still I feel like that went on for a bit much. So I really hope you guys held on. Now, quick little last few thoughts. The Mickey and the Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse, I think that's gone too soon. I think they should still produce that set. That is a beautiful set. I don't know what it is about it. I like it a lot. The Yoda, I think that's good. I mean, it served its time. The Imperial Probe Droid, same thing. The Imperial Shuttle, I think they should still make that, as well as the X-Wing X -wing that I heard that they're kicking out at the end of this year, which I luckily already have. But I think sets like this and the X-Wing should still be here with us. The Microfighters, those are always gone too soon. From what I researched, they don't keep them more than a year. They, they produce them, they run them, then they replace them. The Batman, I think it served its time. So the Elvis, I do think Elvis has gone too soon. I mean, you guys out there in the comments, tell me, is it bull that they only had it between March and December of the same year? I mean, I get that they did the Elvis movie, which is an awesome movie. They should have at least carried it in, until you know, June of this year, so people would have a chance. To The fact that, that I've had to fight to get that and work as hard as I did, it shouldn't be like that. But there's more to it, and if you wanna see what I have to do with it, 
subscribe. I'm not going to say anything. Now the architecture series, now that to me is it served its time and it's moved on. Other than that guys, I have a lot to clean up and put away and go through because now I can put these on my shelves to show you guys because I've been building on this for about a month. And they've been behind my curtain over here. Fun times lay ahead. And I know I did say today was going to be the day that I, we do the Mills plating video. That will be on Thursday. I'm still hopeful that Lego will get its parts out to me. I don't know. It says shipped. No tracking number. No clue what that is about. And I also ordered a lot more parts. Because when I do the Mills plating video, I kind of want to show you guys what it looks like when it's done. Get that video out to you on Thursday, whether we have parts here or not. That way you guys can see Mills plating from a guy that has no clue. I think I'm doing great. I can't wait for you to see it. So if you want to check that out, please subscribe. It's important. I have had a lot of comments on the channel and I've had um, a few new subscribers to the people that have commented and subscribed. Thank you. That stuff pumps me up. That keeps me wanting to go. Yeah, I think it's awesome. And like, share, and subscribe. And I really hope that you guys all are having a fantastic Tuesday.